This is an important issue for us in the state of Alaska uh, as we host the, the ground-based uh, missile defense system there at, uh, at Fort Greeley. I've had an opportunity to visit um, uh, with Admiral Siring on, on many occasions. He has had occasion to go up to Alaska. He usually comes in the middle of winter, so he's, uh, he's tested up there. But um, we, we pay attention to what is, is going on. Um, from Alaska's perspective, we, we sit closer to, to North Korea than um, we would like to uh, on many days. So we, we know very well the importance of a strong homeland uh, ballistic missile defense. And, and we're very proud, again, to host the cornerstone of that defense in, in Alaska. Um, not only North Korea do we worry about, but we worry about I, Iran. And I think you look at the, the, the events going on in the world today, the justification for maintaining and constantly improving a capable, credible, and highly advanced uh, long-range defense radar. Um, if you could discuss for the committee this morning, Admiral, the uh, <clears throat> not only the capabilities that the long-range discrimination radar site based in Alaska will, will bring to missile defense, but also the, the current timelines um, for uh, LRDR and, and perhaps the impact to the timeline if we do not see the FY16 budget uh, approved at the requested level? Yes, ma'am. The, the LRDR is uh, critically important to where I see the threat from North Korea going in the near future with the capability of becoming more complex, requiring more interceptors, and us having to, and the warfighter needing the assurance that we have persistent track and discrimination capability against that threat. It is, a, it, is a, it is a must. I, I, I want to ask you to reinforce that, because some might suggest that this is more of a, this would be nice to have. But you're saying this is a must. This is a must have. Ma'am, I am. And I, I'm reiterating that in, in, in what you pay us and me and the Missile Defense Agency to do is to keep our capability ahead of the threat. And this radar is important to give the warfighter that tool and that awareness of the, the uh, threat that the reentry vehicle would pose and where it is amongst many other things that will fly along with it. And, and the radar and the discrimination capability that it provides to give the warfighter that information to properly intercept the threat um, is vital. So it's vital to our national security interests. Can you speak to, to the timeline um, that we're looking at here? Yes, ma'am. We, we, uh, we have actually pr received proposals from the companies uh, last week, and we are in source selection and evaluation and anticipate to award before the end of this fiscal year. Good, good. And then uh, perhaps from a, from a bigger threat perspective, uh, I mentioned North Korea and how we do pay attention. Um, uh, we watch the news. We see what's, what's happening uh, with the number and the complexity of the missile tests uh, that we're seeing increase out of North Korea. Can you, can you just give us your thoughts this morning on North Korea and, and the threats that they pose to our nation? They, they and you read the open source reporting and news, they continue to test regularly. They continue to test without notice. They continue to demonstrate not just uh, increased um, short or medium range capacity, but capability as well. And um, all of that concerns me in terms of its development and testing and its application potentially to the more longer range threats. Well, it's, it, it, it's a reminder, I think, to us, Mr. Chairman, that um, you know, so much in the news today, we're focused on what's going on in Iran, we're focused on what's going on in Syria. We should never, ever take our eye off other corners of the world where we have individuals and, um, and regimes that are just 
potentially very, very volatile. Then final question for you, for Admiral. Um, is this year's budget adequate to meet the needs yes, within your agency? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mr. Chairman, thank you for the opportunity to, to ask these questions. And again, Admiral, thank you for your leadership in, in an area where uh, uh, I think, again, we want to make sure that we are prepared for whatever that threat may be and to always be leading out, leaning forward. Thank you.